Goodbye Hungary, hello Poland. At their last plenary session before the summer break, MEPs discussed the outgoing Hungarian EU presidency, sometimes overshadowed by domestic issues, and what they expect from the Poles who've taken over. I would say I'm quite pleased to see the back of the Hungarian presidency. I think we have huge challenges now with the Polish presidency. But remember, we were always told that there would be a permanent council and that these six-month presidencies wouldn't matter. Over 60% of Europeans take a negative view of genetically modified organisms, GMOs. Now MEPs are likely to support moves that will allow individual countries to decide whether or not to allow them to be grown. If the majority, like for example in, Aust in Austria or Hungary, opposes uh, GMOs, we should allow these countries not to plant them. A plan to halve the number of EU road deaths in the decade to 2010 failed to reach its target. Now the aim is to achieve a similar reduction by 2020. But moves to penalise traffic offences in the driver's country of origin were blocked by the council. MEPs look set to back a compromise, though it doesn't go as far as they would have liked. We have problems from a number of uh, incidents and accidents that have been going on in my region over the last few years and people have been calling out for some action. So uh, I think that this particular position is not really terribly helpful. The Greek Parliament's yes to austerity measures clears one obstacle, but the issue of economic governance remains. If EU finance ministers fail to reach agreement on Sunday, then MEPs will vote on Tuesday to trigger a second reading. If they do find agreement, the vote moves to Wednesday in the hopes of securing a deal. Looks like being a busy week.